This is NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, and I've been coming here for 14 years, ever since it first opened. And I've wanted to get into the water all that time, and today I get to dive with astronauts. And there it is. It's pretty magnificent. Huge volume of water here inside. At 202 feet long and 40 feet deep, the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory is one of the largest swimming pools in the world. And it was built with one purpose in mind, to train astronauts to walk in space. Right now, just behind me, the astronauts are getting suited up for a six-hour dive in that pool. And the reason they're doing that is because on Earth, if you want to understand what it's like to float in space, the best thing that you can do is get in there and float in the water. That is the closest environment, the environment of outer space that we have here. And that's what this entire infrastructure, this entire building is set up for. Once sealed in their suits and submerged in the pool, the astronauts will be neutrally buoyant. They will neither sink nor float. It's the closest we can get on Earth to replicating the weightless conditions of a spacewalk. The bottom of the pool is covered in full-scale replicas of International Space Station modules, where astronauts can rehearse the complicated missions they will have to perform in orbit. And today, NASA are allowing me into the pool to observe operations up close. It's an incredibly rare opportunity, and it's the closest I'll ever get to being in orbit around the space station. Just incredible to be down here. Such a... Oh, please. Well, I'm kneeling on top of the uh, United States Destiny module, the American laboratory. In the background there, a couple of astronauts going through their paces, practicing procedures that they're going to need when they're up there for real on mission. Whether in the extreme environment of space or deep underwater, we are far from the comfort and safety of the surface of our planet. And when these astronauts perform the same operations in space, they will be living like saturation divers. When they emerge from the relative safety of the space station, they will be reliant on their suits to protect their bodies and provide the oxygen they need to survive. It's fantastic to get up close to this stuff, to get a sense of what it would feel like to be on your own out there, against the void. And all of this that you see, a stark reminder, that this underwater environment is such an alien environment that it's as close as we can get here on Earth to being in space. The invention of diving systems like these has helped us into the depths of space and the heart of the oceans. But they still can't take us more than a few hundred meters down. To reach the very deepest depths, we've had to invent a different type of technology. This is HMS Torbay, one of the Royal Navy's fleet of hunter-killer submarines.